The Englert Greenberger Yassine duality relation, often called the Englert Greenberger relation, relates the visibility V of interference fringes with the definiteness, or distinguishability D of the photon's paths in quantum optics. As an inequality, D two plus V two one display style D caret two plus V caret two leq one. Although it is treated as a single relation, it actually involves two separate relations, which mathematically look very similar. The first relationship was first experimentally shown by Greenberger and Yassine in 1988. It was later theoretically derived by Jaeger, Shimoni, and Vaidman in 1995. This relation involves correctly guessing which of the two paths the particle would have taken, based on the initial preparation. Here, d d can be called the predictability, and is sometimes denoted by p display style p. A year later Englert, in 1996, apparently unaware of this result, derived a related relation which dealt with knowledge of the two paths using an apparatus. Here d display style d is called the distinguishability. The significance of the relation is that it expresses quantitatively the complementarity of wave and particle viewpoints in double-slit experiments. The complementarity principle in quantum mechanics, formulated by Niels Bohr, says that the wave and particle aspects of quantum objects cannot be observed at the same time. The Englert Greenberger relation makes this more precise. An experiment can yield partial information about the wave and particle aspects of a photon simultaneously, but the more information a particular experiment gives about one, the less it will give about the other. The distinguishability d display style d which expresses the degree of probability with which path of the particle is known, is a measure of the particle information, while the visibility of the fringes v is a measure of the wave information. The relation shows that they are inversely related, as one goes up, the other goes down. The mathematics of two-slit diffraction This section reviews the mathematical formulation of the double-slit experiment. The formulation is in terms of the diffraction and interference of waves. The culmination of the development is a presentation of two numbers that characterizes the visibility of the interference fringes in the experiment, linked together as the Englert-Greenberger duality relation. The next section will discuss the orthodox quantum mechanical interpretation of the duality relation in terms of wave-particle duality. Of this experiment, Richard Feynman once said that it has in it the heart of quantum mechanics. In reality it contains the only mystery. The wave function in the Young double aperture experiment can be written as psi total x equals psi a x plus psi b x display style psi underscore text total x equals psi underscore a x plus psi underscore b x the function psi a x equals C A Psi zero X minus X A Display style Psi underscore A X equals C underscore A Psi underscore zero X X underscore A is the wave function associated with the pinhole at a centered on X 
a display style x underscore a a similar relation holds for pinhole b the variable x display style x is a position in space downstream of the slits the constants c a display style c underscore a and c b display style c underscore b are proportionality factors for the corresponding wave amplitudes and psi 0 x display style psi underscore 0 x is the single whole wave function for an aperture centered on the origin. The single whole wave function is taken to be that of Fraunhofer diffraction, the pinhole shape is irrelevant, and the pinholes are considered to be idealized. The wave is taken to have a fixed incident momentum P 0 equals H lambda Display style p underscore zero equals h lambda psi zero x e i p zero x x display style psi underscore zero x propto frac e caret ip underscore zero c d o t x h b a r x where x display style x is the radial distance from the pinhole to distinguish which pinhole a photon passed through one needs some measure of the distinguishability between pinholes such a measure is given by d equals p a minus p b display style d equals p underscore a p underscore b where p a display style p underscore a and P B display style P underscore B are the probabilities of finding that the particle passed through aperture A and aperture B respectively. Since the Born probability measure is given by P A equals C A two C a two plus C B two display style P underscore A equals FRAC C underscore A carrot two C underscore A carrot two plus C underscore B carrot two and P B equals C B two C A two plus C B two Display style P underscore B equals FRAC C underscore B carrot two C underscore A carrot two plus C underscore B carrot two then we get d equals c a 2 minus c b 2 c a 2 plus c b 2 Display style d equals left frac c underscore a carrot two c underscore b carrot two c underscore a carrot two plus c underscore b carrot two right. We have in particular d equals zero. Display style d equals zero for two symmetric holes and 
d equals 1 display style d equals 1 for a single aperture perfect distinguishability in the far field of the two pinholes the two waves interfere and produce fringes the intensity of the interference pattern at a point y in the focal plane is given by i y 1 plus v cos p y d plus phi display style i y propto 1 plus v cos left frac p underscore y d h b a r plus var phi right where p y equals h lambda sin alpha display style p underscore y equals h lambda c d o t sin alpha is the momentum of the particle along the y direction phi equals arg c a minus arg c b Display style var phi equals operator name arg c underscore a operator name arg c underscore b is a fixed phase shift and d display style d is the separation between the two pinholes. The angle alpha from the horizontal is given by sin alpha tan alpha equals y l display style sin alpha semi tan alpha equals y l where l display style l is the distance between the aperture screen and the far field analysis plane if a lens is used to observe the fringes in the rear focal plane the angle is given by sin alpha tan alpha equals y f display style sin alpha semi tan alpha equals y f where f display style f is the focal length of the lens the visibility of the fringes is defined by v equals i max minus i min i max plus i min display style v equals frac i underscore max i underscore min i underscore max plus i underscore min where i Max display style i underscore max and i min display style i underscore min denote the maximum and minimum intensity of the fringes respectively. By the rules of constructive and destructive interference, we have i max c a plus C B two display style i underscore max propto c underscore a plus c underscore b caret two i min c a minus c b two Display style i underscore min propto c underscore a c underscore b caret two. Equivalently, this can be written as v equals two c a c b c a two plus C B 
2 Display style V equals two FRAC C underscore A C D O T C underscore B carrot asterisk C underscore A carrot two plus C underscore B carrot two and hence we get for a single photon in a pure quantum state the duality relation V two plus D two equals 1 display style v caret 2 plus d caret 2 equals 1 there are two extremal cases with a straightforward intuitive interpretation in a single hole experiment the fringe visibility is zero as there are no fringes that is v equals 0 display style v equals 0 D equals one. Display style D equals one. Since we know by definition which hole the photon passed through. On the other hand, for a two-slit configuration where the two slits are indistinguishable with D equals zero. Display style D equals zero. One has perfect visibility with. I min equals zero. Display style I underscore min equals zero, and hence v equals one. Display style v equals one. Hence, in both these extremal cases, we also have v two plus d 2 equals 1 display style v caret 2 plus d caret 2 equals 1 the above presentation was limited to a pure quantum state more generally for a mixture of quantum states one will have v 2 plus d 2 1 Display style v caret two plus d caret two l e q one. For the remainder of the development, we assume the light source is a laser, so that we can assume v two plus d two equals one. Display style v caret two plus d caret two equals one holds following from the coherence properties of laser light topic complementarity the mathematical discussion presented above does not require quantum mechanics at its heart in particular the derivation is essentially valid for waves of any sort with slight modifications to account for the squaring of amplitudes, the derivation could be applied to, for example, sound waves or water waves in a ripple tank. For the relation to be a precise formulation of Bohr complementarity, one must introduce wave-particle duality in the discussion. This means one must consider both wave and particle behavior of light on an equal footing. Wave-particle duality implies that one must a use the unitary evolution of the wave before the observation and b consider the particle aspect after the detection this is called the Heisenberg-Von Neumann collapse postulate. Indeed, since one could only observe the photon in one point of space a photon cannot be absorbed twice this implies that the meaning of the wave function is essentially statistical and cannot be confused with a classical wave such as those that occur in air or water. In this context the direct observation of a photon in the aperture plane precludes the following recording of the same photon in the focal plane f. Reciprocally the observation in F means that we did not absorb the photon before. If both holes are open this implies that we don't know where we would have detected the photon in the aperture plane. D display style D defines thus the distinguishability of the two holes A and B. 
a maximal value of distinguishability d equals 1 display style d equals 1 means that only one hole say a is open if now we detect the photon at f we know that that photon would have been detected in a necessarily conversely d equals 0 display style d equals 0 means that both holes are open and play a symmetric role if we detect the photon at f we don't know where the photon would have been detected in the aperture plane and d equals 0 display style d equals 0 characterizes our ignorance similarly if d equals 0 display style d equals 0 then v equals 1 display style v equals 1 and this means that a statistical accumulation of photons at f builds up an interference pattern with maximal visibility conversely d equals 1 display style d equals 1 implies v equals 0 display style v equals 0 and thus no fringes appear after a statistical recording of several photons the above treatment formalizes wave particle duality for the double slit experiment topic see also afshar experiment quantum entanglement quantum indeterminacy topic references and notes topic <references> <references> further reading Englert, Berthold Georg, Scully, Marlin O., Walther, Herbert. 1991. Quantum Optical Tests of Complementarity. Nature. 351, 6322, 111 116. Bibcode 1991 Natur.351, 111S. Doi 10.1038/351111a0 demonstrates that quantum interference effects are destroyed by irreversible object apparatus correlations measurement not by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle itself see also the duality in matter and light scientific american december 1994 dresit aurelian 2005 Complementarity and Afshar's Experiment. Archive, Quant Ph. 0508091.